Hello, my name is Graham McLagan and I am the Director of Music here at St Cuthbert's. The painting that I would like to share with you is one of which a print hangs in my living room. Having known nothing about the artist, I was drawn to the vibrancy of the colours that have been used and the beauty of the setting contained within this painting. I later discovered the artist is Scott Naismith, a Glaswegian known for his atmospheric landscapes. This painting is of a cottage on the Dunish Peninsula on the Isle of Skye, a cottage that sits alone surrounded only by the striking backdrop of hills and water. The sky is lit up with red, fire-like clouds. Skye has a special place in my heart, as my late uncle and aunt lived in Kaila Flachalsh, the last stop on the mainland before crossing over to the Isle of Skye. As boys, we would visit every school holiday and often spend time exploring the expansive island, in those days crossing over on the ferries to Kailakin. I remember well the isolated cottages dotted all over the island, sometimes precariously placed halfway up a hillside. As we passed them, in the back of the car, my Aunt Joyce would be singing hymns and choruses. When reflecting on this painting, in my mind, I made connections with this season of Lent, when we commemorate Jesus' 40 days in the desert. Just like the setting of the cottage, with no one and nothing else around, Jesus was alone, cut off from the wider world. The fiery sky in this painting is, in one way, almost like a threat to the cottage, a threat similar to Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. And yet, surrounding that turbulence, there are colours of calm and light, the light shining through the darkness. As we move into Holy Week and Easter, many of us will remain, to some extent, isolated due to the pandemic. But we will joy in the fact that all over the world, the Church as one will celebrate the great feast of Easter once again, and the tempestuous clouds of Holy Week and Good Friday will be blown away.